And we had the Arm TechCon mm -hmm. and uh, you're the CEO. That's right. So so what what do you do every day? What do I do every day? Uh, I spend a lot of time just talking to very interesting people. Uh, the great thing about this job is how diverse it is. And you know, as you go around TechCon, you see all these uh, uh, fantastic companies doing really interesting stuff. And I get to spend a lot of my time just talking to people about what they're doing, and then going back to the office to try and make sure we're doing the right thing to support it all. So there's lots of people working in the ARM community, in the mm -hmm. ARM ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, we had, I, I think there was, uh, well, there are thousands of people here at TechCon. Uh, registrations up significantly year on year, which really does demonstrate, you know, how many people are working in this ecosystem. Yeah. And, you know, they're obviously doing it because they enjoy the kind of uh, uh, technical challenges of it, but also because it makes good business sense as well. This model is supportive of everyone. So, uh, do you sit down with the partners and sign agreements? Is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't personally sign too many of the contracts, yeah. but you know, we have a, a, an infrastructure that takes care of that. But uh, you know, I like to get involved in talking to our partners about what they need and making sure that we're doing the right thing, both uh, technically and commercially. So they have a lot of needs, right? And uh, can you describe some of the big needs that they have right now? Um, well, I think uh, when you say needs, I mean, the, the way I think about that is the, the breadth of end markets that ARM's being designed into is, is increasing. Um, you know, we're obviously very well known for being in virtually every uh, mobile device on the planet, uh, but we're seeing um, the adoption of, of ARM processes in servers. You know, just over there, you can see uh, see where the partnerships got to, um, and now we're looking at the Internet of Things, which is a very different uh, computing problem. But it's still about getting the right amount of compute power, making it as low power as possible, um, and as small and as low cost as possible. So, in a lot of ways, you know, there's a lot of commonality between uh, the needs uh, of all these end designs. And uh, do you have some goals on how, how much growth you want every year and uh, stuff like that? Uh, well, I mean, you talk to the financial analysts about the way all of that's modelled, but obviously we want to continue growing. And when, when I look at the opportunities that uh, exist in mobile, in uh, network infrastructure, in the cloud servers, in Internet of Things, I think we've got some great prospects. So as a CEO, does that mean you get to decide uh, what gets to happen? <laughs> or is that what happens? <laughs> Well, ARM operates in a very uh, collegiate, collaborative way. You know, we do that outside the company, we do that inside the company as well. Uh, but, you know, as a CEO, sometimes the buck does definitely stop with you. Uh, so, like, it goes from 8 billion per year, 9 billion per year processor, something like that, right? It's, like, just growing, more and more ARM processors. Uh, so last year, our licensees sold uh, 8.7 billion chips containing ARM processors. Um, year to date through 2013, it's about seven and a half billion. So, you know, hopefully, if uh, everything pans out, we'll have uh, quite significant growth year on year. So, I heard that you spoke a little bit towards the the new uh, news about Intel making ARM processors. Uh, is that okay if I ask you about this? You can ask. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so that's good news, no? Um, or so is it news? So, so this came up in the in the fireside chat yesterday. So. Um, earlier in the week, um, Altera announced that they're building 64-bit uh, ARM processors uh, into their FPGAs uh, using Intel's manufacturing. And you know, from my perspective, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's it's great, right? I mean, oh, why not? You know, we we yeah. want our um, uh, processors and our, our, our um, customers' products to be manufactured and be as good as they possibly can be. So. Um, we like the fact that there's a choice of where people get things manufactured and um, you know, Intel becoming one of those choices is, is no bad thing. And so it just uh, improves the whole ecosystem if they join, right? It doesn't start uh, like uh, competing and stuff. I guess they would. It's, but it's another manufacturing option. So um, it, it, it changes the, uh, the options that are available to somebody. Um, so we'll see what happens. And so... Uh, servers getting very, very soon, and many, many servers are going to be ARM? Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. I mean, you, we've seen um, uh, some, some great progress in the last 12 months. You know, 12 months ago here at, at TechCon, uh, there were you know, prototype systems. You know, here, if you go look on the booth, you can see, you know, real servers. The, the Applied Micro guys are taking orders for their development board using uh, their own infrastructure to, to manage the process. So it's made a lot of progress in the last 12 months. And I guess you get to work on a lot of... but. You also did before a lot of secret things that only get announced much later. Yeah, that's the nature of business. There's, a, there's always something going on that will get announced uh, later on in time. So um, events like this, events like TechCon are a great uh, kind of snapshot um, 
things tend to get announced kind of uh, around events like this, uh, but there's obviously a lot more that's going on. And may, may I ask in, in a different, uh, different thing? So Europe, uh, ARM is the UK company and it's mm -hmm. kind of like a big, I would say, I don't know, hope for Europe. Like in technologically, uh, I mean, this is a, you know, does that make any sense what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the question was, but, yeah. uh, you know, ARM's UK based, as you said. Um, it's, it's a great success story from the UK uh, and, you know, very, very proud of that and, uh, you know, happy with, with everything we've achieved. But, uh, you know, there is so much more to do. So much more.